My name is Zach Oka with Minerick Drives, and today we'll be doing a troubleshooting video on the steps you could take if you're experiencing no output to the motor. Now, we're using an MM23001C, but any of our 1QDC drives, these steps should work. Also, make sure you have a multimeter handy. The first thing you want to check is to make sure that the line is supplying voltage to the drive. Now, we're using 115 AC in, and we have the switch for input voltage set to 115. Make sure that that switch is set correctly. You can measure the leads, L1 and L2, and see that we have 120 volts AC being supplied to the drive. So it seems our line voltage is good. The next step is to make sure the inhibit has not been activated. Now on this drive, the inhibit is activated when it is shorted. We can see here that the inhibit is still opened. Please refer to your manual or cut sheet to see how the inhibit on your drive works. The next step is to make sure the drive is outputting a voltage to A1 and A2. To do this, you can adjust the trim pot and measure across A1 and A2. This will be a DC voltage. As you can see, we are getting 8 volts. If we increase the trim pot, the voltage should also increase. The last thing we can check is to make sure the speed pot is working correctly. Now we have to first check to see if the drive is sending a voltage to the speed pot. This will be located by measuring S1 and S3. It should be around 1.4 volts. Now to make sure the speed pot is working, we can turn up the speed pot and measure S2 and S3 to see if it's sending a reference voltage back. As you increase the speed pot, the reference voltage should decrease as seen here. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by Mineric Drives. If you have any further need of assistance, please contact us at 815-624-6950 or visit our website at www.minericdrives.com.